Good morning. Good morning. We're ready to begin our program. We'll not have devotion. Yeah. 
kill right now. Right now. Right now. This Lord is thy servant for a message in Jesus' name.
in divine administration. But first, give an honor to God, to our guest church, First Baptist Christian Oakland Harlem, Reverend Tucker, to St. John Baptist Church, Reverend Whitford, to our honorees, and any other clergy in the house, Reverend Cephas, and to our Facebook family and friends, and to all of you here in person. Today is a very special day at our church. It is people like you, our guests, who help to make it special. We open our arms and our hearts to you as we come together and worship the name of the Lord. We are honored to have you here with us today. We thank you and we praise God for your loving spirit to take the time out to join us in fellowship on this special occasion. We say welcome to our church and may God bless you. This is the occasion. The task of a pastor is not an easy one. And the responsibilities are large. For this reason, we also want to say a special word of appreciation to our pastor and first lady for all that you do. Thank you. If we take the word pastor, letter by letter, we get something like this. P is for the preacher, God called you to be. A is for the anointing, gifted to you to minister with his bleeding. S is for shepherd, appointed to lead God's flock. T is for teacher, who studies and shares God's word. O is for obedience, a heart of compliant submission to him. R is for righteousness, by which you live and are blessed. Pastors are special, but a pastor's wife is a blessing because she does a lot of the same things the pastor does, and maybe sometimes a little more. <laughs> of guest churches, the only, uh, and we're not guests, St. John is part of Greater Mount Island, but St. John is here. Uh, also, uh, we're happy to have Reverend Cephas here with us on today. Yeah. Reverend Cephas, would you stand, you and your lovely wife, would you all stand with yeah. us tonight? Yeah. 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 Do we have any other pastors? 
pastors or preachers that are here with us today, so would you stand to be recognized? If not, we are so thankful for each of you being here on today. I hope you have a program. The program will proceed as it is printed, and um, there won't be a need for me to get back up here until offering time. Amen. 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 I'm coming at offering time. <laughs> I will be here at offering time. Amen. Offering time. Uh, and at this time, it is calling for the uh, dean of the Canaan District, the best district there is. Good morning. To all who are in the I've come this morning to talk about a boss. <laughs> I get to do that every now and then. Um, 1 Timothy 2, verses 1, 2, and 3. I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayer, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, I say that's a good introduction for this servant that I know. And as we came in, we came in seeing we've come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord. Yes. And I'm glad about it. We are soldiers in his army. Right. That's why we come this far come by on. faith. When I started trying to write something down from last week until three o'clock right. this morning. Right. <laughs> it, didn't it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. I, so I finally said, Lord, what am I supposed to do? I need to go to sleep. <laughs> but I just remembered and recognized the leader that he is. And I chose to do it by just looking at the letters in his name about the man. The E is for eager, excited, and energetic about the leadership that he provides for us. He gets us excited because he, oh no, come on, we can do this. We got to do this. Come on, Dean Brewer, whatever it is you need to do, let's do it. Excited. He's devoted. He's devoted to the work of of Christ. I don't need to say anything else about that part. The D, the second D, he's not only devoted to it, he's dedicated to it. He believes wholeheartedly about who he is for Christ Jesus. He's an inspiring young man. If you allow him, he, uh, he will inspire you to grow stronger, Go a little bit higher and do more for the work. Yes. And again, he is energetic. When I'm ready to sit down and say, that's it, he's still hopping around and saying, come on, then. <laughs> we need to finish this. we got to get it done. And he encourages us to do that. Davis, the D, he's determined to be about his father's business. And he's able to do just that because of his studying and his devotion to Christ, which makes him victorious in everything that he does. Amen. He already knows that he's got the victory. Yeah. And in the end, he knows he's going to win. And I always say, not going to win, we already won. But this guy is victorious. And that makes him in tune with the right. Savior. That's the I and the S in Davis. He believes in what he's doing. He loves working for God, and he gives his all. And as I talk about that, I wanted to bring a rose, but Matthew. 
I never rose money, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm just honest. I mean, I could have ran out and tried to buy more this morning. But I'm going to put that rose a couple of dollars in the offering that you can buy something bigger than a rose. But I do want you to know that in watching you, that you encourage him in his work for Jesus Christ. And just to see you walk around with that smile on your face and to encourage him to go on no matter what's going on, no matter what they're coming up against, she's still an encourager for our leader. Thank you.
Come on, y'all, let's say amen. Amen. And we will hear more from them uh, coming up this before their pastor uh, comes up to preach. Amen. On the program, as you see, it says uh, offering time. Uh, so we are here and uh, to receive the offering. Now, here's how we're going to do this. Uh, Brother Irvin is going to, he's going to handle one tray. Brother Barnes from St. John, I need you to come up. Brother Irvin, I'm going to get you some help here this morning. Amen. Huh. We're we, we going to help you out this morning. Urges of you all just hold, hold your post. Hold your hold your post. Brother Barnes, don't you grab that basket there. You're going to hold that. You're going to hold that basket. And Brother Irvin, if you will grab the tray over there. Amen. 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 Brother Jaron, where's Brother Jaron? Come on. You know you were spotted before. <laughs> All right. Now, now here, here's what we're going to do. Here, here's what you, we're going to do. I want you all to, to please hear me. And, and uh, I'm taking a little bit of moderator privilege here. Uh, we're here to celebrate Amen. Pastor and Sister Davis' eight years of loyal service that they have given to this church. Amen. Now, Brother Bond, Brother Bond, step forward and hold your basket up. Everybody that will give to Pastor and Sister Davis for their anniversary, I want you to put your offering in that basket. Brother Barnes, here you go. Here's my offering. I'm going to start it off. There's my check. Uh, so Brother Barnes will receive all the um, blessings that you have to give Pastor and Sister Davis. Put it in Brother Barnes. Now the tithe and offering, uh, Brother Irvin, if you'll step forward. Amen. Brother Irvin is going to receive the tithe and offering Amen. for a great amount of it today. Amen. The church is supported through tithe and offering. Amen. It's biblical. Amen. So he will receive the tithe and offering. So please, again, uh, Brother Irvin will receive the tithe and offering. Brother Barnes from St. John, Chairman Deacon Boyd of St. John, will receive all the love gifts uh, that you have for Pastor and Sister Davis. Can we say amen? Amen. I don't want you to, uh, to uh, make any mistakes. So God bless you. Um, you're now in the hands of our sisters, and they will lead us as we bring forth our offers. When everyone please stand, face the wall, start at the back.
your best friend now. He's always good to see you. He had to give Heavenly Father to bless you in a way. He's a great, great, good God. He gave a dollar. He gave yeah. bless just like you. He gave a hundred. We will be blessed. Bless each and every day. We give. One who had to give. One who had not to give. Wrap your arms of love and give us around the special place. Lord Jesus, you know what we have. You know we're paying the right amount journey to the heavenly home. This offering to receive this is written now so it's mine to take you
he'll make a way. I know he'll make a way. The Lord will make a way. Somehow down to do whatever could the Lord die. Tell me how my sins are going away and it's because of his grace. No, I ain't perfect. Neither are all y'all. But whenever I get the opportunity, stand tall for the G. Oh, Jesus, like, but I'm going to keep it busy because Jesus is the best they ever had like Jesus. She always the greatest of all time because even when I had hard times, the Lord will make a way.
that will never, no, never, no, never, say I'm a witness, that will never, no, never, no, never, say I'm a witness, that will never, no,
Take the time to encourage me and to lift me up. And I know what he's going through to be there for me. And so I say uh, to this Davis family, thank you for uh, your friendship, your kinship, your relationship to me uh, and my family. We, we are, uh, we're not ones who just say stuff. We love y'all. Amen. I mean that from the depths of my heart. Love you several times throughout the week. I can count on uh, a text from Pastor Davis. I can look forward to that text, and, 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 and I know that he's been going through. And, but he's always there to lift me up. Amen. And so I want to say publicly, thank you. Yes. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Uh, thank you. Amen. You don't have to, uh, but thank you for being who you are. Uh, to this uh, great amount of honor, thank you for allowing us to. Come back again. Amen. 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 We pray that we have done something on today, by the end of the service, that you would invite us back Amen. again on next year. Yes. Uh, but just in case we don't come back again next year, uh, take it up with God. <laughs> to my lovely wife and to uh, the greatest church uh, this side of heaven. So why did you say that that's the only church I've ever pastored? It's the only right. church I've ever been a member of. I believe it's the greatest church on, uh, this side of heaven. Right. Thank you uh, right. for coming right. and being with us. We have some that uh, stayed at home. We have a few that decided today would be a good Sunday to go visit another church, and that's okay. Uh, I know who they are. I know where they're at. Uh, <laughs> We'll deal with that on another day. <laughs> and thank God for those who have come and who have traveled to our musicians. And amen, amen. Thank you for coming. And then again to Pastor Davis, thank you for letting us come and, and, and bring our instruments and, and stuff. Amen. And, uh, just alter your house a little amen. bit. Uh, Pastor Davis told me to uh, preach. He uh, said I didn't have to focus on the theme, and I wrestled with that because themes are important. Amen. Uh, but I didn't wrestle long because I knew God needed something to be said today. All right. So where I'm going today is directly for the pastor and his wife. We come to encourage them. Amen. We come to lift them up. All right. All right. So we pray that we have done so on today to a moderator, uh, the best moderator. 
came in the history, gotta say so. To the best moderator. Thank you for coming and being a part of that service. I told I told a friend of mine, I said, man, he called me yesterday. I said, man, don't, don't call me on Saturday. I've got to preach in Tulsa, and, and I'm uh, I'm on a stage in a platform with Dr. Rex Woodford. i got to cross all my T's and dot my I's and make sure nothing is left undone. Thank you for being here to just to work for it in the St. John Baptist Church. Thank you for being here. And then our good friend, Pastor Cephas, thank you. had not seen me in a while. Uh, thank you for being here. We're not going to be long. I'm halfway done. Amen. If you have uh, your Bible, I want to go to Matthew. Matthew. I'll tell you, I bring y'all's Bible and left mine sitting in the car. Amen. Matthew, the 14th chapter. I'm going to pick up around verse number 22. Matthew, the 14th chapter, beginning at verse number 22. Scripture reads, immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat, go ahead of him to the other side. While he dismissed the crowd, and after he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Yes, and later that night, he was there alone, and the boat was already con a considerable distance from the land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went unto them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it is you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got out down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink and cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately reached out his hand and called him, ye of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when he had climbed in the boat, the wind died down, and those, and those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, truly, you are the Son of God. For a few minutes, I want to use uh, for a subject this morning, weathering uh, your storm. Right. Right. Weathering uh, your storm. Return on everlasting God, we thank you again for this opportunity. Thank you for what we've been able to witness. Thank you, uh, good God, for this pastor and her wife who have continued to labor, God, through the storms of life. They continue to hold fast. And God, we pray uh, today that we would do something, that we would say something, that we would move in a way. Uh, to uplift them, to encourage them, just to stay in, uh, just a little while longer going. But God, knowing that all of our help does come from you, we realize, oh God, that we can do nothing without you. But with you, your word teaches us that we can do all things, God, and we pray uh, that you would walk with them, that you would talk with them, God, that you would help them in a time such as this to stay encouraged. God, we love you, we thank you, we give you praise, we give you honor, and we give you glory. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. Together we all say, Amen. Amen. Now, uh, in Christian, Oklahoma, we are uh, required to have the pastor preach. And so, if y'all are here, uh, uh, if y'all got uh, to require to help me preach, amen? Uh, amen. My brothers and sisters, it is an alarming number of pastor preachers who are leaving ministry. There's an alarming amount of people who enter into ministry who are not still in ministry after a yeah. few years. It becomes discouraging. It becomes hard. It becomes difficult because we, too, have our own problems. We, too, have our own things that yes, go on in life. And every now and then, we need some people to come by and encourage us. We need somebody to lift us up. We need somebody to give us a help. And help. Not that we're going through a whole lot. Every now and then, you ought to take some time out to encourage your pastor. You ought to take some time out to encourage him to stay in the race. Amen? Let me 
I'll give you the backdrop to this text today. Jesus is on the northern shore of the Sea of Galilee. It's late in the day and Jesus had just performed the great miracle of feeding 5,000 men with five loaves and two fish. I know the story. After dismissing the crowd, he sent the disciples on ahead to the other side of the lake, telling them that he would meet them there later. Matthew, in his writing, writes this way. He says, immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side. Y'all ought to talk to me. While he dismissed the crowd, after he dismissed them, he goes to the mountain to pray. Are y'all in here with me? He tells them, he tells them to get in the boat and go to the other side. He, he, he tells them, he orders them to get in the boat and go to the other side. Uh, they didn't have a refreshing night. They didn't have uh, a good night. They've been wrestling. They've been toiling with stuff all day long. And your pastor deals with stuff. He deals with stuff on a daily basis. And sometimes he don't always have a refreshing night. Sometimes he won't be concerned about what you're going through. He's concerned with what you're dealing with. And then on top of that, he got his own stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Point number one in the text. It says that it's in his will. Brothers and sisters, if we examine this text today, may I suggest to you that Jesus made them get in the boat. Yeah. He made them go to the other side. And, and, and I just believe he wanted to be alone so he can pray. Yeah. And now they knew how to tell some folk where they can be. Yeah. They were struggling yeah. to survive. Yeah. 
Yeah. Are y'all going to talk to me in here? Yeah. The disciples were roaring against the storm. Yeah. Yeah. They, they were going in a storm and they were roaring against the storm. It looked like it would make sense yeah, yeah. to turn around and head back yeah. in the other direction. Yeah. But I heard mom and them say, I've come too far. Yeah. To turn around. I've come too far. My brother, yes, they were shouting, but yet they're struggling. Yeah. The pastor preaches every Sunday, uh -huh. but yet he's struggling. Yeah. The pastor prays for you and your family, yeah. 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 but yet he's struggling. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, y'all ought to talk to me in yes, here. Yeah. But because of the obedience that they had, yeah. they kept on going yeah. to the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Because of your pastor's obedience, yeah. he keeps on going. Yeah. When it don't feel good. He keeps on going when the storms arise in his life. He keeps on going when the problems show up. He keeps on going. Yes, sir. You guys have. Yes, sir. You're preaching. You gotta keep going. Yes, sir. Pastor, don't turn around. You're preaching, man. Gotta hear all I can't stay long before I wanna come back on next year. Point number one, stay in his way. Point number two, he can find it in the middle of the storm. Yeah. Right smack down in the middle of the storm. Here the disciples are about 3.5 miles from shore. And they find themselves in the eye of the storm. Somebody know that what life does, life catches you. Smack down in the middle. Catches you and deals with you smack down in the middle. Things are good. But here I am, smack down in the middle. Things were rising. And here I am, smack down in the middle. But I got good news. God can find me in the middle of the storm. God can find me smack down. That the winds began to blow. The winds got contrary. Yeah. I believe that says that the winds were not obeying. I believe that the winds were not doing what they were supposed to. And ain't that just like life? They're gonna toss you to and fro. They're gonna mess you up. You know how it is. You done got your hat in and walked out in the wind. Yeah. You can put in there whatever 
where you want to put it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to say he is will in the middle of yeah. the yeah. I feel my help coming out. Yeah. He's a will in the middle of the I didn't make it make sense to me. How, how can a will be in the middle? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. And I, and I live a few days. I understand what mama was saying. When she can't have control, he's a will. That's right now. In the middle. I got to go wrong. But let me park here for a minute. The text does not read, not I was. It does not read that I'm not going to be. But the text would suggest that I am. Are y'all saying something to me in here? Jesus says, I am. And that's all that we need to know. That he is. In fact, Paul wrote it like this in Philippians 4.19. And my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. Are y'all in here with me? Y'all let me get happy all by myself up in here. Uh, can I just tell you, to the architect, he is the chief cornerstone. Yes. To the banker, yes. he is the hidden treasure. Yes. To the banker, yes. he is the living bread. Yes. To the biologist, he is God. To the builder, he is the sheer foundation. Yes. To the doctor, he is a great physician. Y'all ain't said nothing to me in here. To the educator, he is the great teacher. To the farmer, he's the man, the lord of the harvest. To the forest, he is the rose of sherry. To the geologist, he is the rock of ages. Are y'all in here with me? To the jeweler, he is the pearl of the bright prince. To the lawyer, he is my advocate. To the publisher, he is the good tidings of great joy. Yeah. I can't stay here long. I got to move now. Point number yeah. one, stay in his will. Yeah. Point number two, he can find you in the middle of the storm. Yeah. And last thing, Reverend, last thing, my sister, keep your eye on Jesus. Yeah. And then, in the text, yeah. it gets real interesting. Yeah. And it takes another exciting turn. When the disciples first see Jesus coming, they mistake him for a ghost. Yeah. They spent the whole night afraid of the storm. Uh -huh. They spent the whole night thinking they were going to drown uh -huh. in the storm. Uh -huh. And now, a ghost showed up. Got me right here with me. Things just went from bad to worse. Yeah. I get through one problem. And here comes another. I get over one hurdle, and here comes another. Get one child to act right, and the others start acting right. Are y'all in here with me? I got more pills than I think can get caught up on, and then my car breaks down. And the distractions come to take you away from God. And they thought they saw a ghost. It was a distraction to take them away from focusing on God. Y'all ain't said nothing to me in here. I, I, I come to remind you that no matter how big the problem, I come to tell you to keep your eye on Jesus. I, I come to tell you that no matter how difficult it may be, keep your eye on Jesus. I come to remind you that He heals bread in a starving land. He's water in our places. Oh, y'all ain't in here with me. I'm done when I tell you that this same Jesus was the one that they nailed on the cross. You better lift this thing up. That same Jesus is the one that pierced him in the south. This same Jesus is the one that hung out on Calvary's hill. He died. He died. Right here in the Sunday morning, yeah. this same 
Jesus stepped out from the grave said all power is in heaven and in earth was in his hands I come by to remind you keep your eye on Jesus well in the storm but keep your eye on Jesus no matter how difficult it is, no matter what you gotta go through, keep your eye on Jesus. He promised. He never leave you nor forsake you. And I promise you right now, Reverend, with a money back guarantee. He got you. He holding you. He know what he's got for you. No storms you rock you right now. Yes, sir. Keep your eye on Jesus. Yes, sir. Keep your eye on Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
give it up for Reverend Jeff Cutler. What a word. God will show up right in the middle of your storm. God, have mercy. Powerful word, powerful word we heard from this preacher, Pastor Tuck, on this anniversary service celebration. The program calls at this time for presentations coming from none other than the, the one and only Dr. Moselle Lewis, who is the chairperson of the anniversary committee. So, Dr. Lewis will come. Let's say amen for y'all.
We thank you for coming. We're so pleased that you gave us some highly spiritual service. And I've enjoyed every moment. When you make me cry, you're doing something. <laughs> the presentation that I wanted to present on behalf of Greater Mahana Baptist Church from its membership, visitors, and friends is already at the seat of the service. Now, I ain't touching that much. Amen. That's for Reverend and Miss. Amen. Amen. If Reverend starts acting like the Davises, then they, that's between them. <laughs> I don't have nothing to do with it. I know because I'm kidding. <laughs> so they have their presentation. And I want you to know that we did have members of our church. We did some extra projects so that they could be a little more happy. Amen. You know, no, no service that's rendered can really pay you for what you do right. when you Amen. do it for others. Amen. God will bless you Amen. and you bless us. Amen. I thank you so much for coming. Cushion, I know you've got a, a long way to go back going back home. And St. John, I, I'm so appreciative of you all coming and all the other visitors. And I'm just glad to see many of you. You're following through with your mask. And you're doing what you're Amen. supposed to do. Amen. You ain't going to die from the virus because God ain't going to take Come you. Come on, dog. Come on. Oh. Oh. But I want to say one more thing. I'm, I'm not supposed to be making these comments, but after all, I'm German. Eleven <laughs> <laughs> Seekers and Miss Seekers, they are here with us today. Now, I don't know where they live in now, probably in Las Vegas or somewhere. But nevertheless, we're so glad to see you. And keep on, keep on. And now, are there any other presentations for the pastor and his wife, Miss Tori Davis? Come forward.
It's kind of hard to follow Sister Lewis' presentation because she recognized everyone. People from Cushing, the pulpit, everyone. Have you moved to see anything else? But uh, 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 I'm going to make my little presentation and, and be seated because everything has been done already. Uh, <laughs> but uh, once we go to the Okay. Um, this is from the Greater Island Baptist Church members. And uh, I'd like to present this to Reverend Davis and Sister Davis. Uh, I wrote a little note here, and it says that uh, to make our corner of the world a little happier place to be. And they said the To my Canaan District President, Sister Billy Patterson, thank you so much for being here. And to my dear friend, Sister Regina Tucker, thank you so much for being just a friend. Thank you so much. She she reaches out to me and just, how you doing, Sister? Just, you know, and I just love that. And I love that about her spirit. And to uh, the guest minister and his wife here, thank you all so much for coming on this special day. I just want to say um, to everybody, thank you so much for um, your prayers and um, Pastor Tucker hit, a, hit it right on the head today. Um, we need to keep our eyes on God. And no matter what we're going through, whatever storm it is, we still have to keep our eyes on God. And I am in a storm right now, but I know that God is able. And I'm just thankful for what he has already done. And as I continue through this journey, I'm just going to keep my eyes on God because yeah. I know that's where my healing and my help comes yeah. from. So I'm, I'm going to do this, just a little piece of this song, Sister Murder. I know you know it, and I'm just going to, because I, it's on my heart, and it's one of my songs. Lord, you're healing, healing in this season. I know you won't do it without me. Lord, you're not going to do it without me. Oh, Lord. Everything that he's done, he's he's cooking, he's cleaning, he's doing everything. And I just thank God 
that for me. Um, it has to do with, but because he loved me and he loved the Lord, he's doing it. So I thank you and I congratulate you on another successful year here at Greater Mount Island. Continue to let the Lord lead you, continue to let the Lord guide you, and continue to be who you are in Jesus Christ. I love you. Pastor Woodford, my good friend, my, my pastor, my moderator. Amen. Best moderator in the business. Amen. Very loving moderator. I don't say that just because he's my friend. I say it because it's the truth. 
I mean, I know there's some other good ones out there, but I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> and that's probably in, in the business. I thank God for him and his friendship. I thank him for his, his honesty and to help us stay on track with the Canaan District Baptist Association. And let, let me say this. 2020 and 2021 has been the toughest years on us. Yeah. We as pastors, moderators, state presidents, national Baptist presidents and, and, and leaders, we have never passed it in a pandemic. You're right, you're right. And so it's tough for us to, to, to wonder and to know, should we keep the church open? Yep. Or should yep. we close it down? Yep. Should we be virtual or yep. should we be in person? Yep. Or should we do both? And so, as people of God, I want, I want to warn you not to talk about us yeah. Right. Yeah. if we yeah. decide to close it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't talk about it if we decide to keep it open. Yeah. Don't talk about it if we decide to do both because we have never passed it yeah. in a pandemic. Right. And, and that, that's why I'm very careful about messing with pastors, yeah. church leaders, yeah. state presidents, national presidents on whether they want to meet in person or virtual or both because we've never done it before. Yeah. And so whatever that decision that, that leader, that pastor does, I'm for it. All right. All right. I'm with it Amen. because we've never done it before. Yeah. So, I, I, so I, I warn us today, just pray for us. Yeah. Pray for us as we try to navigate through this pandemic. Right. Because we sometimes we just, we just don't know and are unsure of what to do. But this is the way I look at it too. If I'm still going to work, right, we still oh, going to church. Come on. Come on. Oh. Hello, somebody. If the workplace can stay open, the church can stay open. Yeah. If the bitch can still be state yeah. and national, if we yeah. still going to work, yeah. and the numbers are coming up, and we still going to work, yeah. the church ought to stay open. Come on now. Hello, somebody. We ought to keep coming, whether it, whether we are virtual or in person. You ought to still be attending. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 You ought to give God some glory because Amen. if it wasn't for him, he could have shut the whole thing down. Amen. Amen. I'm taking my tag because I'm pastor here. <laughs> I have leeway. I take all the time I want. I know y'all really need. I am too. But I got to take some time to give God some praise. Because God has brought us through. And I, and I know you all know some families who, who, who lost family members and loved ones and friends who have died because of COVID. But don't let COVID put fear in your life. It's got to be faith over. Come on, somebody. God did not give us a spirit of fear, yeah. but of love, yeah. power of, of a sound. Come on, somebody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God will handle it. Yes, he will. He'll handle it. Yes, he will. He'll do it. He'll do it. So thank you, First Baptist Church North Cushion. Thank you, the friendly St. John Baptist Church. My church family, thank you for coming over. Thank you, Pastor Cephas and wife. Thank you all. This has been a long time since I've seen you all. Amen. 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 My first church at uh, in, in, uh, Mount Pilgrim in Hamley, Oklahoma. They were, they were there pastoring as well. And, and I've been kind of keeping up with what y'all were doing this stuff. And the pastor told me y'all showed up last week. I said, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, amen. And I walk out and I said, wait a minute. I think I know that guy. <laughs> Amen. So we thank y'all for coming and sharing with us Amen. in this in this wonderful wonderful moment, and uh, uh, we're, we're we're glad to serve eight years here. Somebody told me when I got here that I wasn't gonna last two. Oh. Mm. Well, mm. it's eight and counting. Yeah. See, what I found out is God has the last word. Yeah. You, you can't move me unless God does the move. Oh. I'm just trying to tell you something. When yeah. God read for me to be done, it, then I'll be done. Yeah. But he ain't said that yet. He said, stay ye yeah. right here. Uh -huh. 
Now, members have come and gone. Membership has gone down some. That's all right. But we still, come on, somebody. We still push. And we're going to keep pushing until God say, quit pushing. Amen. Amen. To Dean Brewer, I know she had to leave and get back to Gethsemane. Thank God for her, her, her leadership. Thank God for her pastor allowing her to come and share in this moment with, with, with us. And she she's a hardworking day. She is right by my side. We're getting that Christian education department together. Amen. Because I don't need the principal, the moderator. On my back about <laughs> I'm not getting called to the principal's office because ain't stuff getting done. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But I thank you, moderator, for entrusting in me that that office, and I do my best to get it done. I love Christian education. I love teaching, and I wanted to be on point because I wanted to be for God and His glory. Amen. And amen. Thank God for friends of Christ. Uh, pastors who have already uh, blessed me on today and last week, uh, Pastor uh, Stephen Blaze is our president and uh, moderator and I are part of that group. It's such a wonderful, wonderful group of pastors and we just get down and real with it and have a great time. So I thank pa Pastor Blaze and the Friends of Christ to, to uh, Dr. Mose L. Lewis, Amen. my cousin, my friend. Anniversary committee, y'all put in a lot of time. Man. I'm gonna tell you, they, they put a lot of time in, a lot of energy, and they, they they spend a lot of money, but they give a lot of money Man. to make Man. this day happen. Man. They do. They put in a lot of lot of work, and uh, we wouldn't be where we are without the work that they have put in and getting this uh, church to get together to help us celebrate eight years of service. And Dr. Lewis, thank you. I really appreciate you. And she she calls me all the time, and I sometimes I I don't answer because either I'm at work or I didn't see it or something. But she gonna make sure I know something. <laughs> if she don't get me, she gonna get the wife. <laughs> or vice versa. She gonna find a way <laughs> to get us whatever it is that we stand in need of. And and what I love about it is that even throughout the year, she said, "What do you need? Do you need some money to go here?" Do you need this? Do you need that? And that's what a good church does. Amen. That's what a good adverse Amen. committee does. A pastoral committee checks on the pastor throughout the year. They don't just wait to give money during the pastor's adverse. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you all just slip up and just give a pastor money as you walk out the door. <laughs> I'm just saying. The pastor, pastor has to work. He, I mean, he got three, four jobs. And I, I'm just saying. Am I on point? Your point right? Come on. Your point. I'm just saying. Yeah. Give your tithes and offers to the church, but every once in a while, you know, in January, slip some. In, 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 in April, slip some. Come on. June, slip some. Come on now. Father's Day, Husband's Day, <laughs> Pastor's Wife Day. Amen. Amen. It, it, it just, it just, I mean, because we give so much. Sometimes while y'all asleep, we're up. Sometimes we are crying. We up in pain. We hurting. Y'all just don't know that sometimes we are, we are, are, are giving all our time and energy while y'all out playing and going out to eat and hanging out and and we in there just trying to get a message in. I said, what can I do to help the church? Leaving our spouses out. Y'all do know we give more time to church than do our spouse. Come on. And they understand, but it shouldn't be. Let me move on. I know y'all look at me. Let me thank our deacons. Deacon Lyles and Deacon Urban and to all the officers and members of our church who are so wonderful. We, we got some great minds here at Great Amount of Olive. Yeah, I mean, we got some great minds here that, that, that know how to put some programs and things together, know how to raise some money. 
and and uh, be able to do it in, in the name of Jesus Christ. And so I thank God for every member that we have. Let me thank our virtual members. We got some wonderful virtual members that, that, that send money in uh, often to us, and we thank God for them. Uh, we got some down in, in, in Dallas and in Oklahoma City, and of course here in town, our virtual members who have joined us uh, by way of Facebook Live. Thank God for Amen. you all. Amen. Thank God for your love and support. And they with me every Wednesday, too. Amen. Every Wednesday. They are with me. I mean, they signing on for Bible study. And so I thank God for, for them as well. Thank God for our food committee. They've got the food ready, and we're ready to get back there. And we thank God for them. I already personally thank them before I walked in here. And I want to let them know that I am uh, eternally grateful for what they have done. Thank God for Sister Pam White, who escorted us in. Amen. Amen. And uh, Pam's been with me since uh, Eastside Old Muggy. Amen. And everywhere I've gone, she's gone. And she didn't have to do that, but her and her family are here with us here at Great Mount Island. So I appreciate Pam for what she has has done as, as well. Uh, all the names that are on this... <laughs> This program, amen. amen. No, so you can't say I didn't say thank you. <laughs> amen. Now let me get to the best family there is, the Davis family. Amen. I, I want all three of my sons to stand. Eddie Davis Jr., bless his heart, he's just like me. Lord, help. help him, Lord. <laughs> My second son, the preacher, Reverend Marcus Davis, Amen. he preached at Turn Church this morning for Pastor Attila Watson, and thank God for him. Thank God for, of course, the movie star, the rapper, the one who can spit it and can flow, who can do the do. Amen. G Sharp, amen. He's got three movies on uh, Lifetime Movie Network, and uh, he's been in movies with Barry Switzer, and uh, uh, this latest one was Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid, and so he's got all kind of movies. He got movies on Disney Channel, um, uh, we, Jurassic Pets is what it's called on, on the Disney Channel, he's in that. And so he, he's got movies all over the place, y'all. He's starring in TV shows, and he's got commercials, with the Oklahoma Lottery, I hope he hit it. Amen. Yeah. That'd be the first place he's gonna be get that tied up. Amen. <laughs> amen. 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 And I, I, I want I want Eddie's family to stand. Amen. His wife said, "No, I'll do it." Benicia, Madison, Kendall, Christopher, and bless his heart, Eddie number three. Amen. 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 He just like me too. Bless his heart. It's three of us. It's three of me in this place, y'all. Y'all better watch out. Amen. Thank you all. And Miss Essence is, is uh, the leader of the group, the leader of the children, the mama of the children is not here that we she has the words. And uh, we have three others outside of them. Uh, who are not here with us, but I have some wonderful grandchildren, and and uh, we thank God for what they've done. And they all are talented, they all are gifted, and I really, really love them. Again, being being prayer for our daughter-in-law, Alicia, she'll be having surgery coming up soon. Uh, she's got a battle coming up, so being prayer for for her. Amen. Now we are smack down in the middle. Of a situation. You said we got a guy who is smack down in the middle of the situation as well. He ain't surprised by Sister Davis's issue. You're right. You're right. It's there. But he's there too. And I don't want you to know, baby, he's a doctor in a sick room. And he's still in the miracle business. I know what the doctors have said. But I also 